This girl had walked out of school on October the 9th, 2012, like every other day, boarded her school bus in the northwest Pakistani district of Swat to go home and shot 100 yards from the school gates. It was Malala, my colleague said, you know, that teenage girl who's been campaigning for the rights of girls' education in Pakistan, the one that had been standing up against the Taliban because she wants to go to school. What began that day was not only an incredibly hard road to recovery for Malala, but it was also the beginning of a new relationship for Malala and her family, a relationship with Britain and the life she has now. Usually, uh, when you are from age 5 to, uh, till 18, it's the age where you learn, you go to school, you do your studies. Uh, but um, unfortunately, in many countries at this stage, Children, little children, they are working in houses, they are cleaning dishes, they are, uh, they are taking care of uh, rich people's children, they are washing clothes, they are ironing clothes, and then some children, especially boys, they are working in the streets, they are doing like such a hard labor that we can't imagine to do at this stage. I was going back home uh, to Swat. Uh, on my way, I saw a little girl, and we stopped our car, we were going to buy some oranges, and this girl, she had um, a nail like made up of steel and she had a paper and on that paper it was uh, something of advertisement and she was just trying to write, write something but it, it was basically she couldn't write with it and she, I just asked her like do you love school? She said yes I love school and I want to go to school but in fact she was selling those oranges with her father, she was working so it was child labor. Uh, in fact, her dream was to go to school, to learn, and she loved education that much that she just tried to pretend that yes, she is in a school. So I just thought like, I just felt that I, I should be responsible for helping these children. And I just said like, it's my goal to help these children to go to school because every child has a dream. And I did not want her to, to sell oranges, but rather I wanted her to see where these oranges come from, how plants work, and how I wanted her to know about cells and biology and physics, these things, so that she can learn and she can show her abilities. She said, I want every girl, every child to be educated. I was amazed. Not only was she able to speak, she was able to speak about her passion that was education. But the fact is that we should think about our own future as well. If we don't let these children if we, if we don't help them at this stage, then these children who are now innocent but because of the brutality that they face, because of this harsh environment that, in which they are living, they can then become terrorists in future and then they can harm you as well. So we should not think that it is quite far away from us, it can't reach to us, but in fact it can. Terrorism can spread, it can spread and uh, that's why I think that we should help these children now. One child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. If we want to see our bright future, a peaceful world, then we should work together because it's good when you think individually but it's much better when you work together and when you consider your, the whole world like a family.